And welcome back, fellow gamers. I'm doing another Super Mario RPG segment. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm looking better on the the camera because I've changed my lighting just a little bit. Um, I kind of rigged up a ghetto diffuser for my light, so um, it's supposed to make it look uh, a little bit better. Basically, it involved finding uh, baking parchment paper and then just sticking that over the light. So that's supposed to diffuse the light better and make it uh, more even and less sharp as far as shadowing goes. Like I said, I don't know if it's actually working. It looks pretty much the same to me, but um, I guess we'll know after I finish recording this and compare it to the others. Anyway, fuck that. Let's play the game. Gonna switch me over to the full screen. So I get to see everything. Yum. So I had just done Todovsky's song here and gotten the special card. And I think I also already went and checked to see what else I could buy with that card. And I think I opted not to buy any of it. <laughs> I don't actually remember. So anyway, let's continue onwards. Go to Rue's Way. What does this thing say? You can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. Alright. I see what it's... Okay, yeah, so basically it's blue whenever it's moving. And looks like you cannot jump off of this platform thing here. Which is good because I would very likely fall off of it. Come on, I want to hit that star. Hit it. Yes. I want to fight it. I'm fighting a starfish on land. Yeah, that makes sense. Good job, game. Anyway. Don't have the timing down yet for the knock-knock shell. I don't think that was very good. Now, that was a pollen nap, right? Yeah, and Mal Malo still has um, that pin on himself. Was it the true form pin? No, it was something else. God, I, it's only been a few days since I played this game and I've forgotten everything. Except for the timing for that Thunderbolt. And that. Which I haven't shown so far in the game, but I remember it from previous play sessions. Hit him, Malo, with your new froggy stick. It works pretty good, too. Got a free mushroom out of that fight. Got a free refill right there. Now where else does this block go? Does it only go right there? I think it does. Yep. Okay. So you can see that since there's only a few different places that these blocks actually go to, that it sort of puts this section on rails. It's not nearly as open and unpredictable as you might think. That was better. That was a lot better. Again, my strategy basically has not changed. I use Mario's attack to weaken what looks to be the strongest enemy, and then try and take as many enemies out as possible with Malo's Thunderbolt. But if there's only one thing left, there's, not, there's no point in wasting the flower points. On the Thunderbolt, I can just use the Froggy Stick now. Alright, so I came over to here. That just takes me back to here. And those are the only three stops for that block. Now this one only goes to here and to here. So process of elimination says that this block must take me forward. <laughs> And I know that this is not where I want to go. Um, I'm get betting that this block right here will actually take me to somewhere else. But I'm going to look over here first anyway. Yep. Okay, dead end. Just making sure about that. I'm still going to fight these guys, though. Because there is a treasure chest up there, and I want it. I like the, the shy guy's faces when they take damage. Watch, watch it here. <laughs> they hit that with the weird spirals for the eyes. It's good. I love the animation in this game in general. It really contributes to the game's sense of humor, and I really love this game's sense of humor. Uh, 
I don't think any of those starfish that I've came across so far have ever gotten a chance to attack. I've always killed them instantly with the Thunderbolt. Shit. Oh, come on. Get up on the thing. Get up on... Okay, I can't make it from up there, I guess. Or I can't jump directly onto that one. I have to get onto this one, which swings a little bit lower. And then fuck it up, yeah. I can already see I'm going to be here for about an hour before I fucking do this right. Yep, because I'm going to keep jumping over it. Fuck! That time I jumped too short. Okay, piss! God. Ugh, fucking Christ. Alright. Now you can see from the shadowing, you think that the way that this is swinging back and forth here, that I just jump straight up and to the left, diagonally, you would think that that's where they would place the... the uh, the treasure chest, but you can see from the shadows that's not where it is. It's actually uh, diagonal up and to the right. So I do that, and there was a frog going in there. Excellent. Okay, jump back on this and hope it takes me somewhere else. Damn it. Okay, it also takes me to there. I want that coin. Damn it, I want the coin. <laughs> you see what it's doing there? Like I can, I can move up. I can move anywhere on those blocks. That's not in the center. Like whenever it's stopped, I can move wherever I want to. But then when it starts moving again, it pops me back to the center. I want that fucking coin. It looks like I'm not even getting close to it. Can you even do that? There, I got it. I don't know how. I mean, I, I pushed up to get it. But you can't... You can't... Move yourself any further whenever it's blue. So, I don't know why that worked. Anyway. I can see there's more stuff down there. And if I remember correctly... Um, that this next area loops back around back to the screen where I can go and get those other coins and that stuff, so... I'm gonna go ahead and go through here. I see you hiding behind there, dude. I'm gonna get you. Some kind of gangster thief fuck. Fuck face. Bitch. Now these guys also have a propensity for running away. That I remember. So like if I don't kill this guy with this hit right here, he might actually run. And then I don't get experience or coins from him if he runs. And he doesn't just disappear, actually. He actually, like, runs off the screen. Okay. Hit the shag here. Death. I deal in death and pain. That's how I roll, bitches. Oh, well, he just feeds another one back down the line. Fuck you too, game. I'll kill that one too. Death. Something I like about this game that I, I may have mentioned in a previous segment is I like it where if you use an all attack, like Molo's Thunderbolt, and it kills multiple enemies, I like that they all explode at the same time, instead of individually. Um, Chrono Trigger is a game where they still explode individually one after another, even if you kill multiple enemies with one attack. But not this game. Just gonna run. There he goes! <laughs> I knew he was gonna run. Another? Okay. Again, this is one of what's turning out to be several locations in the game where the game is spawning enemies 
and there may be a limit to this number of enemies. It may just keep doing them forever. But I guess I'll fight a couple more of them. See if maybe I can actually fight the lack to itself if I kill enough of these guys. And I'm getting experience in coins for every one of them that I kill. So it's not like I'm wasting my time here. Aha! Look at that! Anything else, big guy? No? Okay. That was pretty cool. Yeah, see, it looped back around just like I thought it would. Now that only goes back and forth between these two. Oh, damn it. Come here. Come here, bitch. Oh, boy. I know it'll do this. <laughs> nice. It's very satisfying when the entire screen explodes full of enemies all at the same time. Don't know why that is, but it just is. Now the collision detection on those coins is very specific. No, oh, damn it. But fucking butt pirates. So does that only go back and forth between those two? Yes, it does. If I remember, if I remember correctly, yeah, then it, yeah, it, it kind of trapped me in a thing right there. Cause see, now I'm on the first section that I did before. Except now this one goes all the way over here. Am I really? Is this the it looks like the beginning. But there should be another block right here. Shouldn't there? It's weird. And there's that, that other starfish right there that I haven't fought yet. Is it just background? Can you not actually fight it? Something's different here. Let's see if this says the same thing still. Yeah, it's this, it's the same message. But there's a block missing. Does this first one only go back and forth between the beginning and that first stop? Yeah? It's changed. Well, fucking, I'm, I'm fucking around too much with this. Time to just go, let's do this. Okay. Go down to here. And then this takes me over here, which I have not been to yet. And see the shy guy waiting up there? <laughs> you hit the thing, and it knocks him off, and then you, and then you can fight him. <laughs> oh, big-ass spider. Fuck shit. Kill the goddamn spider first. Kill that goddamn... I hate spiders. Kill it! Yes! Fucker! <laughs> Beam me right in the face. Now this one wasn't done yet. See, there we go. Got some more coins out of it. Oh shit! <laughs> There's a thief guy that was hiding back there. And then he immediately runs. <laughs> what a dick nugget. Kill the spider, yes. <laughs> Fuck you, spider. Why don't you go back to making webs in my shower? Fuckers. I hate spiders. That was a good timing. Fucker. Ass. Fuck you. Crack. Crack. <laughs> I 
Okay, that was all the coins out of that. It's kind of a big round area thing. He's watching me. Look at him. <laughs> He's watching me. Ah, I got a free refill. What are those stars even called? They're called Star Slap. <laughs> Didn't know what they were called because I haven't actually targeted one of them individually so far. I've always killed them using Mala's Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Enunciation. Enunciation. I can do this. Watch, the fuckers both ran! <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I guess we're done. Fuckers. I have not gotten the timing down on that yet. <laughs> Looks like each of those treasure chests has... has five in it. that do? Nothing. Ass! Ten! Fuck you! You're next, bitch! Eat it! Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Been all around that thing. Let's go through here. I remember this part. Watch this. Watch Mario when I walk around the corner here. Mm, get back here! <laughs> Molo starts to wander out of there. He's like, Mario's like, get back here! Someone's gonna see you. And there's Bowser and his troops. All right, people, form ranks. Attention, shelled warriors, hooded sorcerers, and last but not least, groundling Goombas. <laughs> This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. So Bowser still has something of an army. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. So this area right here exists purely for that little cutscene. I like that. And we're on to Ruse Town. Ruse holy shit! Whoa! Did you see that? Dude was walking just fine and then got hit by an arrow. The arrows come flying out from the forest and when you're hit you can't move. See, look. I can't move a muscle. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. Nothing behind the sign. Someone else that can't move. Hit by arrows. Some of these houses you can jump up on top of. And you can go down the chimney just like it was just like it was a pipe. Since the shooting star fell into the forest, arrows have been showering our town. And then they get hit by an arrow, jeez. water for us. I wish we could help too. <laughs> My grandson, he went out to play but didn't come back when he should have. Tell you it's scary out there, but someone's got to pump the water. Why don't you get indoor plumbing? Jesus. Told not to go outside because it's too dangerous. <laughs> there he is. This place fun. Standing around here is so boring. You don't have to stand around there, dude. It's not like you got hit by an arrow or something. See, that's one of the places right there I was talking about. But I'm going to go into the bottom here first. See what that gets me. 
So nice of you to drop by the shop. What can I do for you? Aha! Upgrades! Let's get the thick shirt, the thick pants. I've already got the jump shoes and the antidote pin. And the wake-up pin and the true form pin, not the fearless pin. Prevents fear attacks. Hmm. Can I think of any place where a fear attack is going to come up soon? No. And it's 130 coins. Okay, equip. We're going to put the shirt on Mario. Put the pants on Malu. And then we're going to sell the hammer, the shirt, and the pants. Okay, so that person does not sell any items, but I bet this person does. We're gonna have a customer last. What do you need? I have shit tons of mushrooms. Might as well make it an even number, though. Ah, uh, fuck! I'm full! Can I dump anything? I can dump this pure water. I don't really need it. I'll keep one more just in case. Okay. Honey syrup. Let's get one of those. And two able juices. And I bet now I'm full again. Yes, I am. 200 for that. Party recovers 80 hit points. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to need this other pure water anyway. And I would like to have one more pick-me-up. Dump it. <laughs> Buy another pick-me-up. Okay. Aha! See? It does pay to jump around on top of stuff. Now, see, you may be wondering, well, how the fuck do I get up there? Well, we're going to go down the chimney. Yeah, up there. Go down like a pipe and you end up a fuck! You end up up there, is what I was gonna say. Nice. Boost my flower points. I could use a save point, too. There's gotta be an inn around here somewhere. This is not good. Now I can't go to the forest to chop any wood. <laughs> Stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Mario, only you could jump up there. Please help me get back up to my house. Ugh, if you're getting let me get off the damn wall, jeez. Okay. Aha, see, very important part of the game here. That's why I delayed going into this until just now. I think Mario, help. <laughs> it's that little kid right there talking. <laughs> hey Mario, I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now. He's, he's he's got little dolls. He's playing with a Bowser doll right now. He goes behind the Mario doll. Boing boing. <laughs> Super jump attack. The <gasps> <gasps> Mario's reaction was like, oh shit. Wahai, <laughs> <laughs> you think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention Toadstool, you're coming with me. Zip your lip. Help! Help! Please, somebody help me. Ha! Uh, <laughs> and the kid sees him. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's ba ba. Mom, mom, look, we have a guest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear, I hear you. Hello, the air. Why aren't you Mario? As a matter of fact, I am. For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. <laughs> I don't know. It's you. You might be just be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it jump. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Mario, want to play with me? I'm playing Save the World. <laughs> nice name. Now, Gaz. Mario might be a little tired, dear. This is the inn, after all. Oh, uh, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh, dear. Mario, I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little while? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't give me the option. Yes, Mario just bought the farm. <laughs> So, um, you can be Bowser, and I'll be Gino, okay? Gino? <laughs> Ready? Let's play from where I left off. <laughs> All set? <laughs> oh, scary. But just watch me. 
Better watch out, Bowser, because Gina's gonna blow you away. Take this. <laughs> Your turn, Bowser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not actually controlling this right here. Ow. Oh no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. Alright, you asked for it. The super duper custom patented one and only shooting star shot. What? Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Oops, uh, I think I missed it. Oh dear, oh my, Mario, you're alright? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, he's not alright. <laughs> I love how the, the background goes fuzzy in and out right there for that effect. That's how you, <laughs> you know that Mario has just taken a severe blow to the head. We have something else happening here. A little star comes down from somewhere. And it goes onto each of the dolls. It's inspecting them. And it decides I'm going to go into the Geno doll. Mm hmm. Now Gino is supersized. <laughs> Just kind of walking around, getting his bearings, feeling out this new body. <laughs> he runs right into the steps. Ow. <laughs> He's like, I'm fine. Then he walks out the door. Ah, <sighs> feeling much better now. <laughs> Always gotta bounce on the beds. Jump off of all the tables. Looking for hidden shit. And Gas says, Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? <laughs> um, uh, that was just... Well, you know, now this was real. <laughs> I swear, Mom, really, it's true. I saw him outside. All right, guys, let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of this time? <laughs> Mom, I didn't do anything. I really, truly saw Gino walking into the forest. <laughs> this boy's impossible. Sorry I knocked you down a while ago. Gino doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> I wonder, can I... Yeah, I can get up on top of there like that, because you saw how I jumped. It, like, I, I tried to land on the Mario doll, and it, it, like, clipped me up onto this thing. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so i got one more thing to do here, which is to get this guy back up into his house. And to do that, you jump on him, and then jump up here. <laughs> Ooh, he's got stuff in here. I'll just come in here and steal all of his shit. <laughs> Nothing up there. What's upstairs? Some little kid. What's taking Daddy so long? Do you think he's still looking for the treasure? What treasure? There's treasure. I'll take the treasure. And that probably fixed the stairs. It sure did. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, were my treasures okay? Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, no. You're kidding! What? They're gone! Mario, you're the only one who can reach them. Mm. Uh, sorry, I got carried away. Oh, uh, well. Since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Ooh. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right, in that order. You'll surely find something nice. So left, left, straight, right. See if I can remember that for more than eight seconds. Left, left, straight, right. Can I get up on top of this house like this? Doesn't look like it. What about this one? Nope. Okay. So there's nothing else to do here in town. So I will go back out and 
Now I can go to the forest maze. Forest muse. Now you'll notice that there's lots and lots of mushrooms in this forest, but not all of them are friendly. When you get close to some of them, they turn into amanitas, or amanita, or however you pronounce that. It's the it's it's a species of mushroom. Um, but sometimes they turn into those and become enemies, and you have to fight them. But these, you get a little close, or at least this one anyway, and I got a free mushroom. And so, toss the mushroom out. I think what I will do from now on, since I know my inventory is full, is when I get close to an, a mushroom that doesn't attack me, I will intentionally use a mushroom from my inventory on myself, and then immediately pick up the other mushroom, and it's like I got a free refill. There's another free mushroom, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, but I don't need to. <laughs> so I'm already full. In fact, I'll leave that mushroom there so I can come back for it. And that would be a Wiggler from Super Mario World. Shit! Oh shit! Tried to stay bouncing on him, but it's really tough. Vigor up. <laughs> like the ones in Super Mario World, you hit them and they get pissed off. They don't actually get stronger, they just fart. Horrendously. That's what their power is. <laughs> Level up! Oh, attack and defense, magic attack, defense. I am going to give Mario some more magic attack. Can I just keep doing that? In fact, to keep bouncing off that guy, I didn't actually do anything. Haha, <laughs> Donkey Kong. <laughs> Only he's called Gorilla. <laughs> okay, so now I've learned something. I've learned that I can kill a Wiggler in two attacks, but I cannot kill Donkey Kong in two attacks. So keep that in mind for next time. Because next time I will attack the Wiggler first instead, and still use the Thunderbolt, which will take out the Wiggler, and thus remove one enemy from the attacking party. Remove one enemy from the attacking party in one set of turns for me, I should say. Boom. Okay, and mushroom back here. I'll use the plan. Now who needs it more? Malo is down. Mario's down by ten, Malo is down, but Malo is actually lower than Mario. Fuck it. There's gonna be a lot more of these mushrooms. So I'll have many opportunities to refill myself. See, there's one that turns into an enemy. Fuck you! <laughs> it's ready for you, bitch. See, he's called Amanita, or Amanita, or whatever. However you actually pronounce that. Okay, so... I am going to attack this thing, and then hope that Malo's Thunderbolt can take out... Oh, HP Max, oh sweet! <laughs> so I didn't need to use that on Mario. Hope that Malo's Thunderbolt can take out that B thing. Hell yes! Let's go shoot out a rock! <laughs> Gorillas are tough. They take three hits. And Malo levels up. Supoib. I am going to bump up Malo's magic. 
So his Thunderbolt will be power more powerful. Here's another one. <laughs> Fight everything! Fight everything! Holy shit, what the hell is that thing? Thing right there, Octolot, what the hell? Well, he looks to be bigger, so he must be reasonably stronger. One of those, one of the things that I know that those Amanitas can do is they can poison you. So I should also be taking consideration into killing them as quickly as possible. Rat, I will kill you, rat. Holy shit! Nice. Okay. That one is good. <laughs> but I get another once again. Okay. Well, that was simple. <laughs> A lot of coins from those rats. Another one. Jesus. That pipe, that poisons you too. I knew that was coming. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to weaken this mushroom Use Thunderbolt to take out the Mushroom and the Bee, therefore leaving just the Gorilla. Reducing their numbers from 3 to 1 in the span of 2 turns. Or just kill the thing. <laughs> yes, Molo's Thunderbolt is definitely stronger. That time it did 120, whereas I think before he leveled up, it was doing 105 to those Bees. <laughs> Death. Okay, on we go. Some of these have a thing hidden at the end of them. Some of these things have a thing hidden over here, too. Eventually, there's an item you can get in the game uh, where you, if you equip it on yourself and you come onto a screen, then it'll make a noise saying that there's a hidden chest. Bitch. Ha, ah, nice. Still not enough to kill that gorilla. Piss. Trying to jump on him. Attack the Emanita first. Because it has the capability to poison me. Okay, and then he just does a vigor up. Then I'll kill him. In Mario's turn. The, the game has very simple mechanics overall. But there's quite a bit of strategy involved, too. Deceptively simple, is what I would call it. Okay, so I'm gonna try something here, because I know I can use Mala's Froggy Stick to kill that Wiggler that I already kill that I already attacked, but that means the other one will have an attack possibility. Whereas I think, if I hit them both with the Thunderbolt, it will kill the first one, and then the second one will use Vigor Up instead of attacking me. Let's see how that pans out. Now it didn't. F the fucking thunderbolt didn't kill the fucking. S ah, bitch! And now they're both scared from that attack. Bitch, 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 bitch. Damn it! So I guess they only do vigor up whenever you attack them with a weapon. 
I'll just take two turns, asshole. Just go ahead and do that. How are you not dead? Fucking eat it. God damn. Had to hit that motherfucker four times. Eh, uh, fuck it. Okay, so each one of these tree stumps you can go down just like it's a pipe. Like the, the first one. Left, left, straight, right. I still remember. Nice. I didn't know if Molo's froggy stick could kill those Amanitas in one hit. strong enough now? No, it's not. Thunderbolt is not strong enough to kill those things in one hit. <laughs> True form pin would have stopped that. This will kill him, though. Fight over! Fight over! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just fly right into my face. You should... And then poison me right off the bat, you uncle fucker. That's okay, I know how to end this fight in two turns. Done. <laughs> okay, and they'll kill this mofo. See, those you have to be careful with because you see how it actually stabbed Mario like three times there? Maybe it was just twice. But it, the timing for that is on the last stab. That was kind of a waste of a thunderbolt right there. Because I knew it wasn't going to kill the guy. Yep. You know, that was interesting because you see the number that pops up after after Mario get got turned into the mushroom? It wasn't white. It was like that yellowish greenish color for when you use a mushroom to heal yourself. So I'm wondering if that mushroom transformation actually heals you per turn instead of hurts you. I'll have to watch the numbers the next time that happens. This fight's over. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. Din. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and one of these I know has a thing in it. There it is. Yes. Flower point upgrade. Okay. Gonna go down this one now. Gonna go down all of them. Kill everything. That's weird. This, uh, this has a chest down here that's already opened. Death. So I started watching a show lately called Trailer Park Boys. I've been watching it from the beginning, which means... Um, the seasons back when it originally premiered, like back in 2001, um, Netflix is doing a revival of it, but I've been watching it from the beginning, and one of the trailers in the trailer park, the, the two guys that live there have a Super Nintendo, and an NES, actually. Um, they've shown the Super Nintendo itself, but they've only shown the, con the NES controller. Um, there's... They've shown a couple of games sitting there, like out on the table, but I can't tell what they are from the label. So I wonder what games they're playing. Okay, we take note. Malo has 41 HP right now. Now it's his turn, four. 
minus one. He did heal. Because he was at 41, he gained four and reduced by one. So that's interesting. Like, the, the, the mushroom keeps you from doing anything, but it also heals you on your turn. Not by much, but it could be the difference between, you know, game over or not game over. Bitch. Fucker. Hate that. Fuck! It didn't kill that guy. <laughs> Ass bag. Mario's gonna need some healing soon. I'm gonna do that right now. Just to be safe. Come here! Dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck you! I got an able juice. Come on. <laughs> I want to fight the shroom. Bitch. Oh, piss. <laughs> you missed a non-moving fat mushroom. That's how much you suck. <laughs> Fuck you. Ha! Just take two turns, motherfucker! Why do they do that sometimes? It's irritating. There's something right here. Do you see that? It's like it's moving me around it, but there's nothing actually there. That's weird. Okay, now go down this one. Ha! Beat the wiggler in. And is this the one? Where there's one that has a thing down here. It's the same thing. There's something there, but there's nothing there. Is there really nothing down in this one? Looking like no. Hmm. Guess they can't all have rewards in them. You're it. <laughs> Bitch. 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 Should have used the honey syrup. At this point, I'm kind of waiting for the free refill to. <laughs> he ran. Uh, like I was saying, I'm, at this point, I'm kind of waiting for the free refill, though. Because it's been a while since I've seen one. Fight me some shroom. Bitch! <laughs> Keep trying to do the thing, and it's like, no. <laughs> Lightning orb. <laughs> 
Fudge Packers. Just take two turns. Big fat fucking dickhead. That's what they are. Fighting dickheads. With friggin' herpes spots on them. Fuck you and your herpes. Fuck you right in your herpes. anything. Yes. Mm hmm. Boom. <laughs> Get lots of coins off these guys. Pretty sure down in one of these, all the way in the left corner, is a Caro Caro Cola. So that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> bitch. That's such a bitch attack to, st to get to start with. That was bad timing. Still killed him. Altering my strategy a little bit here. Since I have no uh, flower points, I'm taking out the weakest enemies first, reducing their overall numbers. Bitch. Damn. Dear I. Man, I'm totally hallucinating or something because there's definitely not any chests down here. And this was like the last one, too. Pretty sure, anyway. I think the next stump is the one that is effectively the pipe that takes me the, to the next area. Yeah. <laughs> and I watch this. This is a special scene here. <laughs> wake up the Wiggler and he's like, HOLY SHIT! And now the path opens. And what happens if I go back down there? Is that Wiggler still there? He's gone. Still no goodies. McDammit. McBloaty shitty damn it, where's my hidden treasure chests? Hmm? Nothing? I've always wondered about this one. Because, you know, you figure that... that the path is blocked from both sides. So, like, I go up here, and that, like, the path back, going this way, if I had started the game on the opposite side here, somehow, some way, which I know is impossible, but if I was coming at it from this way, then this path would still be blocked in theory, which I think is why they put this other wiggler down here, so that whenever you jump on him, you wake him up, and then he opens the path just like the other one did. 
but since you don't come in that way, now this wiggler does nothing, because the path is already open. Anyway, that's just my theory. I'm going to... shit. I was going to say I'm going to defer to Malo, so he can use Thunderbolt, but I don't have any fucking flower points. Bitches. So I just totally wasted a turn, a turn, and got one of both of them poisoned. Come on, yes, once again. <laughs> Let's do the whole rest of the thing like this. Come on, yes. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Mario and the knock knock shell and these rats, but it just works pretty damn well. You butt fucker fucker. Ah, level up, yes. Now I am going to make Mario more powerful. So that he can maybe take out those stronger enemies. Like maybe he can inflict more damage on those gorillas so that they can be killed in two attacks instead of just one. I'm going to give Malo a mushroom. And pick up this free one. Damn it. No, once again that time. No such luck. <laughs> Run away. Now one thing I don't know is since Mario leveled up and flower points are shared, does that mean the level up refilled my flower points? I can find out right now. It did not refill it. <laughs> I still only have one. Let's dance, bitch. That wasn't very good timing, but it worked. That wasn't very good timing either. <laughs> Fuck ass. I'm kind of wondering if, like, maybe behind the scenes individual attacks have their own specific speeds. So like if that if those Amanita mushrooms, if they were attacking me using something other than that weird spin attack, then maybe they wouldn't get two turns in a row, whereas maybe the spin attack is faster so they can use it more often, or something like that. Bitch. Bitch. And Malu goes up. Fantastic. Let's give him more magic. Make him a magical powerhouse. Power house. <laughs> Damn it, I should have used mushroom first. I wonder if I could have canceled out of that out of that screen, that window, whatever that is. And the mushroom that I touched would have fallen back on the ground. See, look at that, look at that fucker. He's ready trying to attack me. But I didn't go the right way, so he didn't get me. Piss. Nice. kind of moved around a bit there, so let's see if I'm even still in the shot here, or if I need to move again. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> let's keep on moving and killing. Come on, once again. Damn it, no! Piss. It Fuck. P 
piss. Ass biscuit fucker faces. Ass biscuit fucker faces. Nice. What a difference timing makes. The first rat that I hit with Malo there, I timed well. The second one that I hit with Malo did not time well, and that was a difference of, like, 30 points. <laughs> no coins from those bitches? Fuck you, too. That's as good a point, place to stop as any. So uh, that's going to do it for this segment. Uh, next time I'll finish off the forest maze and I'll take on uh, Bowyer, who is the next bo boss. Not Bowser, Bowyer. <laughs> Weird, huh? Don't know where they got that name. Maybe they just, maybe that was like a typo and they're like, ooh, we should use it. <laughs> Most creativity comes from accidents. So, hmm, yeah.